Hey, you looked at your face when you doing that? <laughs> She's trying to say, <laughs> bro, ready? go check a mirror. That's all. I was ready saying. to go? Yeah, bro. I've been ready. Bro. I hope I'm in the shot because I actually can't see. My lips is dry. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. Vaseline's in the car, bro. You wanna go get some Vaseline? No, it's good. I got, I got lips. I know, but they're dry. <laughs> I got lips. It's the, it's the problem. <laughs> right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Welcome everybody to a new episode. It's not an episode. What am I doing? It's the work <laughs> welcome to this new video. Um, you guys are in for a treat because you thought it was gonna be me in this table, but that surprised you. Because we've got a black man with me today. Um, <laughs> a black man wearing a pink t-shirt, a jumper even, hoodie, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, Today I'm joined by my brother, um, my younger brother, in Christ. Amen. Ira, ja <laughs> Ira Jackson Jr. Yes. That's a powerful name. It is a powerful name. What does it mean? Uh, my actual name Ira means watchful stallion mm -hmm. or protector of mankind. You're like, watchful stallion. <laughs> My name has two definitions. I don't know about yours, but mine's got two. Can you say, what's for Stanley? <laughs> what's, what's the Jackson? Or Jackson is, Jackson is son of Percy Jack Jackson and the Scot Scottish Chief. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's got Scottish origin. That's it. It's You're Scottish. Scottish. I'm not actually Scottish. But... You're dual kid. Sorry. That, that's <laughs> not <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> I think that's literally my cunion. Yeah. What's I, Scottish? I speak a wee bit of Scottish. Yeah. Scot like Scottish. Like Scottish. That. Scottish. Don't get there. Yeah. Oh my god. Should we just do an accent challenge? Let's next up. Okay, next. Let's go. This is not what we planned. What's next? Okay, Nigerian. This I want, I want this. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're gonna do this anymore. That, wow. that was not Nigerian. No, let me do a proper. Okay, okay, do a Nigerian one. God have mercy, what the heck was that? No, it's because I tried to say something I heard. Do, it. do a Nigerian words. one, go on. Um when I think of the goodness of God and all that is done for me, I cry out. <laughs> Hallelujah! Do you know what's funny about that? Yeah. That sounds like generic African pasta. Yeah. More than I would say Nigerian. But, but, but I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get yeah. it, I get it. I'll give you that. But okay, that Chinese. What, you want me to speak in a Chinese accent or actual Chinese? No, it's in the Chinese. When have we been doing accents so far? Okay. So when have we been doing languages? Obviously the... Okay, um... Ooh, okay, I don't know why you're Chinese. This probably will be offensive. Go ahead. No, it won't. Okay. Because I watch a lot of Jackie Chan. Y'all didn't know And that. so the offense begins. <laughs> Go ahead. No, because I've, I've listened to it. Do it, do it. Um, what would Jackie Chan say? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what would Jackie Chan say? No, because I... I... Oh yeah! <laughs> no, he, he actually says this one line that I really love. He's like, um, Carter, I can't hold on anymore. That's how he speaks. That's how I say it. Carter, I can't hold on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, I don't that's know if I agree with you that. No, I thought that's quite good, to be fair. It's, it's, I don't know. All right. I, the thing is, I thought I was good at accents. I think I am, but I need to be in the mood. You know what I mean? I can't. You, you're quite good because you, you can do it on command. You can give me I really other can't. Ones and I just okay, American's I'll do, do one more. Australian. Oh, okay. My little sister's really good at this, but really? I, I can I can try and shoot him. Go ahead. Um, Use the force. Wait, what am I gonna say? Give me a sentence, then I'll try and just say. Um, today is a good day. I'm really happy to be here. Kind of thing. Today is a really good day, and I'm really happy to be here. Let us know in the comment section. I guess. Is this is this good? Uh, are these good accents? They are. American's I think my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna do it because we because you because for, for the past few hours we've been doing American and I would not let you do okay. it again. <laughs> I know that's what you're waiting for. You're just like say American. If you give me so American, they'll say. think I'm American. Okay, do uh, do American. I don't know which one you want me to do though, because there's so many accents in America. I don't know which one. Like, bro, like honestly. Real talk, like, I really enjoy this video. Like, I'm not even a YouTuber like that, but I feel like I should join now because you gave me the opportunity. And so <laughs> I feel like I need to invest in some cameras and stuff and some lights 
and we can get this thing cracking. You understand what I'm talking about? All right, let's move on. <laughs> so, guys, this is Ira Jackson Jr. You're, you're cool. You're multifaceted, I would say, because you do a number of different things. This is part of what may become a segment on here where we just kind of meet interesting people. Um, I love creative people who do lots of interesting things. I like people who um, have ideas, you know, and, and, and turn it into reality. And you're someone like that. You um, are a professional footballer at... Grimsby, Grimsby Town, Town yes. Football Club. You're a forward, right? Yes, I am a forward. Centre forward? More of a wide forward, but I yeah. can play centre forward sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So you're you're on there. So like if you guys go check out Ira Jackson Jr. on Insta Instagram, social media, Twitter, yeah. you'll see your show reel, you, know, you're, you're show real, you're scoring <laughs> girls, all that good stuff. On top of that, you also have a clothing brand. No, it's a more than a clothing brand. Thank you, yes. Called PC, PC London. London. Yes. And <laughs> You, you're, you're sport one of their t-shirts, aren't you? Yes. Need it. Yes, this is a new piece of merch that will be coming out on the 5th of May. Lily. So, if this video is not out by then. When did you say the 5th of May? The 5th of May. No clue. Okay, so, <coughs> out on the 5th of May, and uh, it's basically centered around mental health and people in general, not just Christians, even though we're a Christian uh, organization or business, uh, we don't just want to center everything around Christians. We want to be able to share the gospel in a way that anybody can understand it, rather than keeping it in the club and in the clique of just Christians. The club. I like it because like it's, you know, when you think about Christian clothing, you think like Jesus is good on your t-shirt, which is good. Um, but this is good as well because this is slightly different. It's it's um, it's subtle, right? It's a it's a nice little you know this little something. It's not yeah. too heavy on it. Um, so this needed one. What does that mean? Like why? What's needed about? So basically, needed is down to helping mental health. Really, yeah. A lot of people, men especially, suffer with mental health. They suffer with depression, suicidal thoughts. A lot of men are probably even now on the brink of suicide as we speak. And people need to know that they're needed. People need yeah. to know that them fulfilling what they're called to fulfill or being who they're called to be or yeah. achieving their goals in life, the world needs that. We can't just miss out one person just because there's so many people on earth and the world will still be the same. So the world will not be the same without you, without you, Mike, without myself. So thank you. Look, I just, I just wanted to say that. No, I like that. It's very important. So um, that's, that's the whole point of it. It's that yeah. I need people to understand, especially I needed to understand it as well, yeah. that look, just, it, you can't just, just give up. You can't just die. You can't just kill yourself or, or whatever because the world will be missing something. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand what the world will miss, mm. but you'll find that out as you go, as you grow. And I think that's the exciting thing about purpose and life and enjoying it is that you find out as you grow in life, how much of an impact you're making. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to say it. People just don't even know. I mean, yeah. I, talk, I tell people all the time, when people go like, oh, you know, um, what I'm doing isn't working, it isn't hitting, my YouTube channel isn't growing, or my business, you know, mm. I, oh, I feel insignificant at work. It's like, unfortunately, we only have two eyes, and as such, we can literally only see what's in front of us. Um, and beyond that, you know, you can't even see what's, you know, you can see what's in front of you for a certain distance. Mm. So our view by nature is just limited. And that's a hard thing to accept as human yeah. beings. We, we feel a sense of, you know, significance, but the truth is our vision is very limited in scope. And so you have no clue the kind of impact you're having on people. Exactly. And I could go through a million examples of Instagram or Twitter. People be like, oh, you know, I got 20 likes. Yeah, but the tweet may have been seen by 60,000 people. Exactly. And then that, those people, uh, you know, they might, that, that tweet might spark a conversation in their lives and they're talking to six people in the, in the room about your tweet. So like, you just don't know the impact you're having. Um, and, and in the same way, I love the needed part because like, you know, you could be having such a positive impact and you could mean so much to a lot of people, but they don't, vo people don't always vocalize how they feel and what's going on and how much they value you. Yeah, exactly. So you can feel like you're insignificant, but the truth is you, you have ridiculous significance. Like you're exactly. helping a lot of people. I love that there's a little, uh, not little, but there's a statement, isn't, isn't there? Yeah, on there's the a back. statement on the back. Do you want to show us? I can. <laughs> <laughs> so on the back. I don't know if we can actually read it. A very, no, sorry. Every, every line. <laughs> every life has a purpose yeah 
every breath is a privilege Come on. every word has power the world wouldn't be the same without you you are needed Come on. oh that's awkward <laughs> oh, that's the black lives matter but so it, yeah um i love that <laughs> love it love it love it but on top of that you're you're an author yes or you're about to be a yes. published author self-published author you've got this wonderful book can yes. i show it yeah why not oh let's, let's, let's oh i always want to do this the book choice of this month is <laughs> <laughs> What is a Man by Ira Jackson Jr. I love the artwork as well. This is an early preview, folks, because it's not out yet. But yes. this is going to be amazing. So, like, I think I told you already, like, I like the artwork. Love it. Yes. Why? What is a man? Okay, Jacob, so, Jacob. so firstly, when we look at the artwork, I'd like to shout out Michael Chibrizi and... Roy Arts, so that's his design company, and he's phenomenal. Yeah. He captured everything that I had in my head and put it on this wonderful book. But onto the topic, I have a mentoring program called What is a Man Mentoring mm. Program? And it's basically centered around the question that many men are asking themselves. They probably are asking others or wanting to ask others, and they don't have any stable answers to. One thing I've noticed is that when we look at society, society changes its standards and criteria yeah. every three to six months. So if we're gonna, <laughs> if we're gonna look at uh, that, time frame. It's, it's true though, because six months ago, it was cool to wear this. Now it's not cool to wear that. So we're in a very trend-based society. And I think a lot of topics that are very important for young people, people in general, have become trend-based. Yeah. So it's always important to find something that you can stand on that doesn't shake. Foundations are supposed to turn into platforms. So if you have the foundation of something that's very trend-based, the second it's not a trend anymore. You're done. You're done. Yeah. So what is a man is basically to answer that question from a biblical perspective. It's not all Holy Ghost and all that sort of stuff, but it's very- Whoa, what's wrong with the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Again, there's nothing wrong with the Holy Ghost, but it's a very <laughs> instructional manual. Okay, it's practical. It's practical, exactly. It gives you the foundations that you need to be able to assess yourself on yeah. one standard. So it's not, I'm in competition with Mike and Mike's on a different standard to me. If we just blanket it, everybody's based on the same standard. It doesn't matter where you are in the journey. It doesn't matter if you're married, got three kids and half yeah. this stuff you don't know. You just don't know. I've got a question for you there. So who, who who are some of the men? I love the mentoring program stuff, by the way. I love mentorship. I, th I just think it's such a, it's so important, mm. you know, because you can get deep. And exactly. in today's age, everyone's running and just moving so fast that you can only very, you can like just kind of touch people sometimes. Exactly. You can't really hold them and go, oh, listen, God, my brother, yes. this is really important. Or this is mm. really important. So who are some of the men in your life that you, can, that you think, oh, these are really helpful men that have helped you discover or are helping inform your view on what manhood is? I look at a lot of people. Yeah. Um, yourself is one oh, of them. Oh, stop it. <laughs> but um, I'm a very... Get out of this to, guy. When it comes to learning, yeah. I like to. I don't like to just go to one person for my yeah. source of knowledge. So I look at Pastor Mike Todd and there's aspects of him that I look at and I'm like... Like going in the water, <laughs> sitting down in the... <laughs> There's certain, there's you know, certain, rain, water, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's certain aspects of his life or his character that I look at and I go, yeah. okay, that's similar to me. How can I learn from him that. to even advance it? There's certain aspects of you yeah. in terms of the fact that you do a lot of things, but yeah. you're still able to be in touch with someone like me yeah. and still be able to touch my life in a way that's not like, oh, hi, Ira, and then we don't speak for six months. Do you get yeah, what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And then there's other people who are close to me even uh, Alexander McLean. Um, That's my guy. Yeah, again, he's phenomenal because he's one of those people who is a great supporter of mine, yeah. but he's not so much of a supporter that he can't speak directly into my life. Yeah. Um, and I think you need more, more than supporters, you need friends. Yeah. So when, Come on. when your friend is more of a supporter, yeah. and they're just like, oh yeah, well done, well done, well done, but then they're not checking you and checking up on you. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't help you grow. Um, so I try to look for people who I can intentionally make long-term relationships with. And that's something that over the last year or so, I've tried to cultivate. And even um, Apostle Emmanuel Akinfemwa as well. Yeah. He's really, really good because he's somebody that I can just speak to. Um, and he'll, I'm the sort of person that I'm usually the one speaking into people's lives. So yeah. I realized over the last year or so, when I started becoming a mentor that 
I could only go so far as a mentor as I'm being mentored at the same time. Yeah. And it might not be that we sit down every day and talk and stuff like that. But is anybody helping me to grow? Yeah. Because you can't give what you don't have. Come on. So and you can't take people somewhere you've never been. Exactly. Come on. So that's you why trying to preach? I have <laughs> You trying to preach? Is that, is that what we're doing? I and mean, you can't go where you ain't never been. You can't. You, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so don't try it, okay? It ain't gonna work. Don't try this at If you want to birth something that the world ain't ever seen before, you gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We've been doing this all day, we so I, I thought it would bleed into the video somehow, <laughs> and it has done so. But that's good. Yeah. Because it's Glory natural, to... it's organic. Glory to God. Glory to God. No, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like, I like what you said, though. This idea of, you know, wisdom doesn't just reside in one person's mm. bosom, so to speak. Exactly. There's not one person sitting there and going, I've got all the wisdom in the world. But there's lots of different men in your life that you can kind of glean and pick from. It's, and mm. it's a sort of pick and mix, if you like, yeah, where you can kind of go borrow things from different people and, you know, put into your life. Of course, you've got your dad, you've got uncles, you've got family mm. members. But I guess in this information age, it's so important because you've got mentorship, which is super important. Mentorship is close proximity, discipleship. You know, you're getting to know people, getting raw, getting real. But you can also have heroes. And, and these, can, these can be people who are online, who perhaps but you, you might never meet personally, mm. but you can still glean from, exactly. right? You can still learn from. And if you have a lot of those kind of people as well, then you've got a portfolio of people who yeah. aren't uh, at your rung there. Maybe you see them as a head, but... but there's enough of them that you can really have a yeah, great exactly. package of just kind of features, things you need to grow in, things you need to develop in. I love it. I think we need to open up a conversation about manhood, definitely in masculinity. Definitely. Um, I think, you know, I've got an organization that's launching late this year that this, this, that's going to be dealing with masculinity. This is such an important book. No doubt we're going to use this as a resource, right? Love and that. and start conversations uh, 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 around this as well. So when can people wear... And when can folks get the book, sir? So the book is going to be available as an ebook and as a paperback, as you can see there, on Amazon, because uh, that's who we self-published with. And then it's also going to be available on the PC London website, which is www.pcldn.com. Why, why do people say www? Every website is www. Well. <laughs> No, sorry, I, I always said that because there was someone I was speaking to recently and they were like, WW, like, oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Every website starts with that. And well, most well, times, well, okay. these days, the search bar is also a Google search. Yeah, it's true. Sorry, this is... So, so yeah. Okay. Sorry, back to the program. Let's, let's redo that. Okay, so it's PCLondon.com, which is PCLDN.com. <laughs> uh, and the book will be on there. Also, more information about the mentoring program will be on Love there. It. Um, and there will also be a t-shirt that has this design on it as well with the question, what is a man at the top? And that will be available limited stock, limited edition purchase for a short period of time, which hasn't been decided yet, but uh, will be later released. You can also follow up at WIAM Mentoring also, which is the mentoring program, but it's also going to be sharing information and updates about the book as well, any conversations like this one and any interviews, podcasts, and stuff like that, so. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. No, this is beautiful, man. You know I love this stuff, it's a majority. Yeah. And I think it's gonna achieve some great stuff. I love that's, it. That's Anything cool. to do with, with discipleship, especially for guys, we need it. So, more power to you, more grease to your elbow, Amen. and um, I can't wait to see the impact it's gonna have. And I know that the impact I'm gonna see it have is gonna be limited, right? Because of my scope, but it's gonna do so much more mm. beyond your wildest dreams. Mm. I think it's gonna affect a lot more people than you think it's gonna affect. I think God's gonna, <laughs> God's, gonna God's gonna do what he often does, which is take a seed mm. and you know breathe on it. And it's gonna be a forest. Amen. Hallelujah Amen. to that's, that. That's and plan. that's, that's why plan. you gotta, <laughs> Joking. Right, thank you for joining me. And folks, if you like this video, if it was helpful, do subscribe and turn your notification bell on. And when we have the next, <laughs> we have the next video, you can be first to find out. Peace. Peace. Right, we're done. Love that.